Camera number 259 of 365 is the Leica M6. It's a fully manual camera, only requiring a battery to operate uh, its light meter. And uh, it's bat the battery is housed in this little compartment here, which we can unscrew. And it houses a 3 volt battery. And I've got a single, uh, what is it, a DL1, but it can equally take two um, LR44 batteries. And as I say, that powers just the light meter, otherwise the camera will work fine without it. Let's just put it back on properly. There we go. So it takes uh, the full range of Leica M uh, lenses, and we take the lens off by pressing the release button. On this occasion I used the, uh, what is it, it's a Summicron uh, 35mm f2. And uh, you'll notice when we look through into the body of the camera, you see the little white dot. Well, that's the uh, uh, point at which the light meter, which is housed just here where my finger is, that's pointed at the white dot. And that's how it measures the light and returns to us uh, a light meter reading. So uh, interesting implementation there for light meter. And uh, while we're on the front here, we just uh, only have uh, the other button is uh, the film release that allows us to rewind our film. And then we have our frame line selector here. And now normally when we put our lens on our camera, which we'll do now, when we look through the viewfinder, we get uh, a frame that reflects that 35mm um, lens. And what we can do with the, this little button here is just change it to allow us to see, well, do I want a 28mm lens or do I want another, some other lens? And that will change the frame as you look through the viewfinder. So a useful little feature if uh, we want to, without changing our lenses, uh, we can uh, see the effect that perhaps a different lens would have uh, on the camera. So let's uh, turn to the top plate now. We have uh, our traditional uh, film uh, counter, our film wind on. Uh, our shutter speeds go from one thousandth of a second through to uh, bulb. We have our hot shoe and uh, our film rewind crank is uh, ang angled and on the top plate here. So we have uh, our, uh, on the back here, we can select our film speed and then of course that calibrates the light meter for us. Uh, I think that's pretty much it on the front here. So to put a film in, let's just put it on its base here. So we undo or unlock the film chamber by pressing that and then we take the whole of the bottom off and then we can see a little diagram here that shows what we need to do is put our film, we can actually lift up the door as well, and we can put our film through there and then make sure it threads through and then just sits into this little, see in the diagram here, I'm not quite sure what you could call that, a claw perhaps or whatever it's called, I'm sure someone will correct me. And um, so we make sure that's in and then we can put our film in, close the door and then we just make sure that we put the little uh, lug there properly through and make sure the door's closed and then just lock the door. There we go. And we just have a tripod mount as well on the, the base of the camera. So I think I've covered pretty much uh, the basics of uh, the camera. Of course all the lenses have uh, focus and uh, apertures and uh, that's it. So that has been camera number 259 of 365.